I like Verizon and I like Johnson and Johnson. I, I, I do think that if you break down his arguments about the, the scariness out there, the cyclicality of UPS um, and, and even MetLife. I mean, these, these, those are sectors I don't think I want to be in. But Johnson and Johnson, in terms of their pharma bucket, which is a significant part, along with their medical devices, they actually have growth there of eight to nine percent, which is actually better than their pharma peers. I, I change I would own. We own Verizon. We own Johnson and Johnson. We did own MetLife until a couple months ago. We sold it. We moved the money into Progressive. I think there's better opportunities within auto insurance right now. All the vehicles are much more safer today with adaptive cruise control, autonomous driving, all that stuff is going to reduce accidents, but at the same point in time, premiums are not going to be reduced dollar for dollar. UPS really stands out to me as something that's quietly getting better with no attention. This is a stock that went from 140 to 90. The bear market's happened here. Good earnings, stock responded, we love stuff that goes up on bad news. This one's quietly getting better, and it speaks to an environment where you know, the world's on fire, yet this air freight stock is getting better, and the truckers are actually quietly getting better. Maybe the market's already discounted a lot of the problems that are already out there. Yeah, so as Todd said, speaking of Ross Perot and sucking, I mean, Verizon unchanged on the year kind of sucks, um, but AT&T quietly up 22% of the year, trading at 52-week highs, breaking out of this massive downtrend has been in since the highs in 2016. That one looks really constructive. Yeah. and actually a much higher yield.